It's not surprising that Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, live a pretty charm life in London Town. They are royalty, after all. But here's just how insanely lavish Kate and William's lives are. William and Kate may live in an apartment, but it's far from your average unit, unless your apartment is four stories tall and has 20 rooms. Situated within the historic royal compound that's known as Kensington Palace, Kate and William's apartment features five reception rooms, multiple dressing rooms, and three bedrooms, according to Hello! magazine. The royal couple, who likes to keep their personal lives pretty private, shared a rare glimpse inside their lavish London home back in 2016, when they hosted former U.S. President Barack Barack Obama and his wife Michelle Obama. The power couples were photographed in the drawing room, a picture of elegance featuring traditional cream-colored sofas and artwork honoring a bygone era. As the children of royalty, Prince George and his younger sister Princess Charlotte have access to the best education money can buy. Both siblings attend a private school situated in South London near the family's residence in Kensington Palace, according to The Sun. This prestigious school comes at an insanely high price. The yearly fee for Prince George alone is close to $24,000. A royal insider told the publication that Prince George has had a few of his classmates over his Kensington Palace home, but unlike traditional playdates, all house guests must be security vetted. The British royal family is worth $88 billion as of 2017, according to Forbes. As Duke and Duchess, William and Kate enjoy the family fortune. The eldest son of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana, Prince William is worth $30 million. <laughs> I felt very, very, uh, very privileged, yeah. William, as well as his younger brother Prince Harry, reportedly inherited a bunch of money from his mother and his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother, according to Harper's Bazaar. Kate wasn't born a royal, but even before she married into William's family, she had a small fortune of her own thanks to her family's business. Now, as Duchess of Cambridge, Kate has a reported net worth of at least $7 million, though some estimates put her net worth as high as $10 million. Being royal sure pays off. William and Kate somehow find the time for lavish vacations between all of their official royal trips. Before starting a family, this jet-setting duo enjoyed alone time in exotic destinations like Kenya, where Prince William proposed to Kate, and Seychelles, where, according to the Mirror, the newlyweds enjoyed their honeymoon. I took her up somewhere nice in, uh, in Kenya and, uh, and proposed. It's very romantic. There's a true romantic in that. <laughs> Vacations look a little different now for the pair, who bring their children along for the adventure. Before welcoming Prince Louis into the world, the then family of four enjoyed the winter wonderland of the French Alps in 2016, according to CNN, and it was the first time their children had played in the snow. Now, as a family of five, vacations are a little more low-key by royal standards. Following Louis's birth in 2018, the family enjoyed a staycation at their country home of Anmer Hall. In an interview with the podcast Happy Mom, Happy baby, Kate said that she wants to provide her children the luxury of the great outdoors. She added, I think it's so great for physical well-being and also mental well-being. Many people dream of their wedding day, but even Kate probably couldn't have dreamed up such a lavish affair as a kid. The Duchess, who embodied a modern Cinderella on her wedding day, tied the knot with her Prince Charming in 2011. The event was televised and included a horse-drawn carriage and an iconic lace Alexander McQueen wedding dress. About 3 billion people across the globe tuned in to watch, according to the New York Times. The Duke and Duchess tied the knot in a traditional ceremony at Westminster Abbey before traveling to Buckingham Palace for the rest of the festivities. The royal affair, touted as the wedding of the century, included famous faces like singer Elton John and power couple David and Victoria Beckham. No wedding day is complete without the bride and groom riding off into the sunset together, of course, and William and Kate rode off in a vintage convertible. William and Kate are always the picture of elegance any time they step out for a charity event or family gathering, as all eyes are almost always on them. But that elegance comes at a price. Kate may rewear items from her closet and sometimes don affordable brands, but she's no stranger to wearing lavishly expensive get-ups. For her sister Pippa's wedding in 2017, she wore a blush dress by Alexander McQueen and accessorized with a Jane Taylor hat. That outfit totaled a little over $14,000, according to Harper's Bazaar. Also that year, Kate and William dressed to the nines as royal guests at the British Academy of Film and Television Arts Awards, where Kate wore a $10,000 black floral patterned gown. When out on royal duties, 
this couple likes to color coordinate. On an official royal trip to Ireland in early 2020, Kate and William were spotted wearing green in honor of the country. As royalty, it's William and Kate's duty to travel to faraway lands to meet with fellow world leaders. But they also have access to the finest modes of transportation. Sometimes they fly on a royal jet, while other times they do commercial. Almost always first class on British Airways, as Hello reported. It's no surprise that the royal couple spends a small fortune on air travel. In 2012 alone, they reportedly spent $7 million. Even their travel accessories are pretty lavish. Some of William's luggage is reportedly adorned with the letter W and a crown. Typically, they're greeted by cameras as soon as they disembark a plane, so they're always photo-ready, with Kate often wearing a dress and her beau donning a suit or blazer. William and Kate wine and dine with some of the world's most famous public figures, including America's first family. In 2016, the British couple hosted a lavish dinner for then-President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle at their Kensington Palace apartment, according to E! News. A couple of years later, in 2019, the Duke and Duchess held a state banquet for President Donald Trump and his wife, First Lady Melania. The lavish affair included fine cuisine and a collection of wines. A string orchestra served as the night's entertainment. Kate looked like royalty, of course, wearing the lover's knot tiara and the multicolored sash of the Royal Victorian Order, marking the first time she wore it since Queen Elizabeth gave it to her on Kate and William's eight-year wedding anniversary, according to People magazine. For William and Kate, date night sometimes involves a glamorous red carpet. For several years, the two have attended the British Academy of Film and Television Art Awards. In February 2020, for instance, Kate wowed cameras as she strutted down the carpet like a movie star in a white and gold Alexander McQueen gown. And beside her, William looked equally as dapper in a bow tie and suit. Kate's lavish gown, which she previously wore at a Malaysian state dinner back in 2012, was topped off with a necklace and earring set worth more than $15,000. Kate and William's date nights typically involve the arts in one way or another. That same month, the royal parents walked the blue carpet for a charity performance of Dear Evan Hansen in London's West End, as Hello reported. This royal mom and dad know how to do date night right. When you're William and Kate, there's no limit to the amount of vehicles you can have. For high-profile royal affairs, they've been reportedly seen in a $300,000 Bentley. This expensive piece of machinery boasts leather seats equipped with back massagers and a cooler for champagne bottles, according to the Daily Mail. Of course, the vehicle is made out of steel armor and has bulletproof windows for extra security. The couple reportedly also has, quote, a fleet of leased Range Rovers. William was photographed driving a Range Rover to pick up Kate at the hospital following Louis's birth. Another popular car of theirs is an Audi, handy for picnics as the family watches dad play polo. Notably, when Prince William was younger, he had an affinity for motorbiking. According to Express, he once said, I don't know what it is about bikes, but I've always had a passion for motorbikes ever since I was very small. These royal highnesses have a lot of power and influence, as signified by their titles. William is a duke, a prince, and Lord High Commissioner to the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, according to a Kensington Palace tweet. William may not be of Scottish descent like the role typically calls for, but many British royal members have served the position in the past. Ultimately, the decision was made by Queen Elizabeth to have William serve to, quote, maintain the relationship between the state and the church, according to the palace website. When Kate married William, she became the Duchess of Cambridge. Of course, William is second in line to the throne, so once he does become the king, Kate will likely be crowned queen consort. As such, Kate would have her own coronation and would be of equal social status to the king. A royal Christmas is very much like that of common folk and typically includes church, gifts, and a festive lunch or dinner. Except the royals stay at a castle, so anything they do is lavish by normal standards. On Christmas Day 2019, William, Kate, and their children accompanied the Queen for a church service at the historic St. Mary's Magdalene, before greeting citizens outside and enjoying a roast turkey lunch at the Queen's Sandringham House, which is basically a castle, as Hello! magazine pointed out. Traditionally, the family exchanges gifts on Christmas Eve during tea time. In the spirit of Christmas, the royal family, who has so much, gives back to those in need via initiatives like the Royal British Legion's Together at Christmas initiative. Given William and Kate's illustrious travel itinerary, it's no surprise the two splurge on some of the world's best cuisine. 
During their Canadian royal tour in 2016, the Duke and Duchess enjoyed local delicacies such as gooey duck, which is described as a giant clam on a trip to a local food and wine festival, as the Daily Mail reported. Kate reportedly said, It's really unusual. I've never seen it before. It's so fresh from the sea. Like the real foodies they are, William and Kate also tried several other entrees at the event. Another perk of being a royal is receiving invitations to gala dinners. During a charity event in 2016, William and Kate dined on a five-course meal cooked by Michelin-starred chefs, according to Express. Kate also shared that she cooks at home. She reportedly told the chefs during the gala event, William has to put up with my cooking most of the time, to which her hubby replied, it's the reason I'm so skinny. A super fan of tennis, Kate's a season regular in the Royal Box at Wimbledon. In the past, she's been spotted at the world-renowned tennis tournament with her hubby William, sister Pippa, and sister-in-law Meghan Markle. Though Kate is off in the picture of poise, she becomes just another spectator at Wimbledon, quote, chanting, cheering, booing, and eyeing, as Vogue reported. In 2019, Kate and Meghan cheered on tennis star Serena Williams as she competed in the Wimbledon Women's Singles Final, according to Harper's Bazaar. William and Kate have also enjoyed world-class seats at the Commonwealth Games and at the 2012 London Olympics, where the two even served as official ambassadors. When this famous couple crossed the pond in 2014, they had an opportunity to catch an all-American game of basketball, where they met superstar LeBron James, according to ESPN. This sports-loving duo sure does get around. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.